Ah, water and losing weight. Should you be drinking a gallon of water or not to help with your fat loss? Well, if you want to find out, I'm going to give you a clue. Tell me what you think based on what I'm about to do. Let's get into the video. What's good, YouTube? You're back in the building with y'all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. It's damn all everything. The sex is hell. Host of this Life Games channel. We're bringing you Life Game Fitness. And if you enjoy the content I put out on this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Go check out my other two channels, the Life Game Tech and Streaming channel and the Life Game Financial channel. Every time someone gets on a weight loss journey, somebody tells you you need to be drinking unreasonable amounts of water. Now, I want you guys to understand where I'm coming from. Considering my wife is a nephrologist, a kidney doctor at Duke, her link is in the video description as well. I wind up coming to you all with the same myth about you gotta drink three, four gallons of water a day till I met her and learned the real cl clinical apparatus behind it and you don't. So let's just talk about the water. Does water magically burn fat? Nope. As a matter of fact, it's kind of the contrary. Think about when you all have eaten fatty pieces of meat. Did it taste watery or did it taste salty? I bet that joint was very, very salty. On the other hand, water is great for making you feel full in the meantime. That is until you have to go to the bathroom. Then after that, you ain't full no more. If you drink too much water, you give your body a counter. Instead of it doing what it needs to do, you wind up flushing out all your electrolytes and you need those electrolytes you need your sodiums you need your potassium you need your calcium because those things help with muscle contraction they help with electrical conduction through the body and they help you get through the day which would probably lead you to ask how much water should you be drinking in one given day when you're trying to be on your journey for weight loss when you're trying to be on that journey for weight loss and fat loss well first and foremost Fat loss is not one entity. Fat loss and weight loss is a combination of a bunch of things, which includes a good diet, rest, training, water, being stress-free, all these things that help you lead to healthy fat loss. But in terms of how much you should drink, you should only drink as much water as you feel thirsty. You know, if you're feeling thirsty, then you go get a drink. And you can also use electrolyte supplements in your water if you don't feel like you're getting enough and so having said that that brings me to my next theory and i'll leave a link for some of the data i found on this subject in the video description because it's going to make some people salty go ask your trainer who told him that you need to be drinking a half a gallon to a gallon of water a day see what he says see what he says because when it comes down to natural lifters versus enhanced athletes the water regimen is going to be totally different for the two number one the enhanced athlete is taking products to make them enhanced which means he's going to need to have his kidney flushed a little more he's probably eating more protein because his body can absorb more protein and he's going to be trying to fight hard not to get kidney stones and all these other things that you the natural lifter don't need to do because you're not using any performance enhancer. So no, a gallon of water is not needed a day. What is needed is enough to keep you hydrated, enough so that you're you're feel so that you're not thirsty. And sometimes when you feel hunger, that might be thirst. So sometimes before you go and engorge on some food, go have a tall glass of water. And always, if you're training, avoid distilled water. When you're training, you're putting out electrolytes. You're losing it left and right. And you want to have a little electrolytes in your water. So don't use distilled water because most of the electrolytes have left that. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. If you made it this far through the video and you're still looking for a coach to help you online, set you up with a good fitness plan, get you going with your macros, give you a training tip to help you go, please hit me up. My link is in the video description if you want some one-on-one -on -one consultation or you want to get a training plan. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.